back to another video of spark plug so in this video tutorial i am going to show you how to animate the assembly in fusion 360 there are basically two ways to animate the assembly in fusion 360 the first one is to drive a joint manually and other one is to make use of motion study now one of my viewers commented on my previous video that I should make a video on how to animate my assembly in Fusion 360. So let's start with the easiest way. So if you if you haven't watched this video on how to make this uh, Indian cylinder assembly, link is in the description below. Please find that and then move forward with this video. So once the join is created, click on any joint. Let's say revolution, because if uh, this joint if I right click on this joint is an option called animate joint so as you can see uh, this is the joint of this rod so if I just press the escape and again right click on this and click on animate model then it will animate the whole model basically it will animate the each and every single joint that is connected with the revolution one joint so let's try animating model so this is how the first thing works in Fusion 360 uh, if you uh, animate a model using uh, the joints. Another one is the motion study. For that you have to go to assembly, click on motion study. You will get a timeline which is divided into 100 point. So let's start with the easiest one. Click on the revolution one and as you can see here the joint one has been inserted here let's go to the hundred point click on the hundred point and the angle initial angle is minus 12.7 degrees suppose that we want this shaft to be rotated at 360 degrees so what we have to do is plus 360 and just press enter so this is how if I just play the timeline, you can see my uh, model is animated. I, I can choose the reverse back video and also the loop. You can change the speed of your animation from here to here. And if I just move this, so this is how the motion study works in Fusion 360. The main difference between motion study and the drive joint is that motion study enables you to animate more complicated assemblies as compared to the animate model command in Fusion 360. And also one of the major advantage of motion study is that if you want, if you are not using the free version of or the student version of uh, Autodex Fusion 360 like I am using you can even render your motion studies in HD rendered graphics so that's really a bigger advantage let's try this with the another assembly this is the elbow mechanics that I have created in my one of my video the video is the link is in the description you guys can check it let's try doing the same here if I right click on this, click on animate model, you can see that it's moving. We can even use the motion study command here. There is no limitation to this command. I have also created a video on the six cylinder assembly in Fusion 360. Link is in the description. You guys can check that out. Let's go to joints. Let's click on revolution 1, right click and animate model. So this is the video on how to use the motion study or the animation in Fusion 360. So hope you guys will enjoy the video. Please comment any queries and suggestions for my upcoming videos and don't forget to share and subscribe my channel.